All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to start fabricating the horizontal stabilizer mounting brackets out of this piece of uh, aluminum angle uh, stock. So this is uh, AA6-187, I think is the, uh, the number on this stuff, and it's, it's two inches by two and a half, and then five inches long. And I've got to fabricate a left and right mounting bracket out of this stuff and it's you know you can only get two parts out of this there's there'll be a lot of material uh cut away it's a six dollar part if i screw up i'll just buy another one of these uh so i'm just going to sort of feel my way through this the first cut i'm going to make uh the dimension of the the bracket and this you know the bottom part of it is one inch so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this off at one inch so i've got it marked i'm going to cut it off uh, on the bandsaw here probably leave a good bit extra and then come back and, and work at it on the sander and the file and just try and get that cut right. Then I'll figure out, you know, how to chop it into, into pieces. <laughs> and then there's some angles you have to cut, some drill holes you have to locate pretty precisely. Uh, I may make the, I may drill first before filing it down to its final size. That way, at least if I'm off with the drilling, I can work my way into it. Uh, so this ought to be a, a bit of an adventure. I'm not sure how far along I'll get with this. I'm just going to start cutting. And again, it's a $6 part. If I screw up, I can just buy another one. I have to wait for it to get here. So uh, anyway, here we go. So I uh, forgot to mention, I think, that that's this masking tape on the bottom just to keep from scratching it up on the table of the saw there. Also, you definitely want to cut on the waste side of the line and leave yourself enough uh, excess to be able to file it down and, and you know smooth up the edge. I've got a 24 tooth per inch band on that saw there. That's the finest I could find, and I had to buy it from a, a different place. But it still leaves a pretty jagged edge that you're definitely going to want to clean up. Uh, also, it got pretty hot as I was going along here. I, I found that I had to pause a couple of times because it got so hot I kind of wished I was wearing gloves. But um, it took me about two minutes, I think, to go to five inches. So about two and a half inches a minute. Maybe I was trying to push it too fast. But uh, anyway, it worked out. Okay, well, there we go. That actually started getting pretty hot. I uh, probably should have put some kind of lubrication on my saw blade there. Uh, maybe my blade's getting dull. Uh, it doesn't seem like I've had it that long, but that was a pretty thick piece of metal to cut through uh, as well. So, see how we did. All right, well, at least there I got a little extra, just a tad. Same thing there. All right, well, I think that went pretty well, considering. So I'm going to file that, try to get it cleaned up. Okay. So here I'm carefully measuring and marking uh, on the other side of the angle uh, angle stock so that I can make what will end up being the top part of the brackets. And I'm just going to go do the same thing and cut this off all the way along the, the length of the 5 inch piece. So probably about the only tricky thing about any of this, really, the, the measuring and the marking, is that you kind of have to measure on the back side and mark on the back side and then transfer that mark around to the you know, sort of the front side of the brackets, if you will, so that you can lay it down flat on the saw and make the cut. That's not so difficult with these ones I've done so far, but it's a little more tricky uh, on the next cut I make, which is a long, uh, which is at kind of an angle. So here I'm just filing, 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 uh, measuring and filing, and working my way down 
uh, you know, cleaning up the edge, but then also working off enough material so that it's exactly the right dimension. So at this point, I've got the entire piece of angle stock cut so that it, the fore aft uh, dimension is correct on the bottom part of what will be the bottom part of these brackets, and the vertical dimension is correct on what will be uh, the vertical part of these brackets. But I haven't actually made a bracket yet. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm marking off to make the cut that's going to separate a bracket from this stock. And this is going to be kind of a, a difficult cut to mark and cut because it's at this angle. And so I figured the easiest way to describe this was to just show the mechanical drawing on the plans. So you can see up there in the upper left hand view, uh, on the right hand side of the part, you can see that the, the flange part that will mount to the tail cone is at an angle uh, on the right hand side. And that angle carries through to the, you know, on the thickness of the, what's the vertical part of this bracket. And there's a penciled in dimension right there. That's not exact. In fact, I had not calculated that and, and uh, written that on there when I was doing this left hand bracket. I actually did that uh, later when I was doing the right hand side. But so I go ahead and I mark this on the, the bottom and back of the stock and then I clamp it to a fairly square piece of, of wood. And that I'm able to kind of hold it up on that and make the cut uh, sort of in the air on the saw so that you know, so that I can follow the, the line that is drawn on the bottom part of, of the flange. And once I do that, I use that as a guide to set the angle on the, the table of the saw so that I can continue that angle on through as I cut along the length of, of the top part, you know, the vertical part of the bracket. And that works fine. Um, you know, again, I'm leaving enough room to get enough extra that I'm going to be needing to clean it up. And so that's what I'm doing there, first on the one inch belt sander and then clamped in the vise between a couple pieces of wood and just working it down with the file. I think I could have gone a lot closer to the line with the saw with the initial cut. But I was being, you know, a little cautious, leaving a little extra because it was sort of a precarious thing with it clamped to that piece of wood. But, uh, you know, the whole, that whole thing worked out just fine. So I was real happy with how this turned out. So now I'm very carefully marking uh, and I'm going to center punch for the three holes that I have to drill in this thing. Now the plans tell you to be very accurate uh, with the 1 8 diameter hole that goes in the top part of the vertical part of this bracket. And that's the hole that aligns this thing uh, to one of the rivet holes on the spar web that you, know, you then use to drill eight additional rivet holes. Uh, through, you know, match drill through this thing. And that's what's going to set the angle of incidence of the tailplane, of, of the horizontal stabilizer. So you really want to get this hole as exact as you can. Uh, you know, I think in the end, you, you certainly end up shimming this thing as you mount it to the tail cone. So I guess there's probably some wiggle room, but still, you don't want to be off with this hole. And I didn't want to be off with any of the holes. So needless to say, I spent a lot of time measuring and double checking and uh, center punching those holes. Uh, and on the bright side, I got the 1 8 hole uh, positioned perfectly. I was really happy with how that one turned out. On the not so bright side, uh, the two 3 16 inch holes uh, ended up off a little bit. I got them marked perfectly, center punched perfectly, and then uh, kind of picked too big of a drill bit to start off with as a pilot bit, and it, it just it uh, you know, was off just a tad. Not much. Uh, that's kind of what I'm fretting about right here. Uh, kind of getting irritated that that happened. They're off about a 64th to, you know, between a 64th and a 32nd of an inch. Not enough to matter, I don't think. You, you match drill these things to the tail cone anyway. The plans don't say that these 3 16th holes have to be perfect, but since I filmed this video, I've also gone ahead and made the right hand bracket, so you can see it right here. Uh, so I've made both of them, and I'll tell you, the right one, everything came out perfectly. So I've already ordered another, you know, five inch piece of angle stock from Vans. I may go back and remake this left hand side. Maybe. Uh, but I didn't manage to catch uh, making the radiuses on the corners on camera, uh, but that was simple. I just took something that was a quarter inch diameter. Uh, I think it was the head of a, of a screw and you know, held it up, used it to trace a 1 8 radius curve on all these corners, and then just ground them down carefully on the 1 inch belt sander, and then polished everything up, uh, you know, deburred everything, smoothed it up on the, uh, 
uh, the 3M wheel. So, uh, yeah, there they are.